Hi guys and welcome to AS Event Fishing. Thank you for everybody that subscribed and thank you for watching. Remember to hit the little bell so that you get a notification each time we load a new video. Now this year we've got a lot of exciting new things planned which we'll put you in the picture as we go along. Um, today I'm doing a bait, a bait I specifically like for the Natal coast but some of this bait I'll, I'll explain when we get there works very well in the Cape province as well I've caught some nice fish that side on it alright so just in general nice for fishing the banks Pentagonian squid you guys know it from Adcan Marine they keep nice packets they keep the boxes and the, the packets I love the packets um, this one was defrosted before when I just came back from Tanzini and uh, this is some of my uh, bait I'm not going to use again and that's what I do the bait demos with but they're nice and white when you get them they don't have to be as white as your normal chocas as we used to and then uh, also from Adcan Marine is the anchovies quite nice big anchovies nothing wrong with this very nice little baits now this time of the year your summer months especially these large shoals of anchovies going around and your squid will eat them the other fish will everything feeds on them so it's naturally a good bait to use now what this baits great for is for all your edible species on the banks your stumpies will grab it your uh, smaller kingies your bigger kingies um, and then all your flat fish nothing's going to swim past this a honeycomb will grab it an eagle ray will grab it a duck bull will grab it um, maybe even a diamond will grab this uh, it shouldn't swim past it your smaller shark species your gray shark won't swim past it guys there's a range of a range of species you can target with this so it's a nice bait you fish on your your medium heavy the grind elite with say the 6500 salters i've paired that up with 30 pound j braid it throws a mile you can put this on a circle hook which means you'll use a dangle today i'm going to put it on a j hook and that i'll fish with a, a grapnel sinker to set the hook with a j hook your grapnel sinker helps setting the hook when the fish grabs it um, I've, I've fished it on, on dangles, this exact bait, and it works very, very, very well. The only difference is when I tie it to a dangle, this is your circle hook. I'll tie it so that the head sits here. It's nice and streamlined for casting. When I tie it on a J hook, I tie it other way around. Okay, that's just personal preference. You can still tie it like that. It's really up to you. I just like my hook being hidden in all those tentacles. Um, so that's personal preference. So starting off, first, we'll tie the hook to a piece of foam that I cut the length I'm going to make my bait all right and I'll just put a little slit in there form a bit of a cavity and what I always have in my bag especially when fishing jokes is toothpicks you know and like when you're serious about your fishing and you start fishing really fresh bait you never have to even take lunch to the beach all this bait we get from Adcan is fresher than what you can buy in a seafood restaurant so just find a way of cooking it and you sort it on the beach as well so nicely lined into that uh, slit I made I'll take the cotton this is a medium latex and for those of you not used to latex yet you can't tie a bait as neat is what you do with latex cotton so it's a must-have for any good bait presentations um, the only place where they don't work that well is for instance shad um, any of your critters and and fish with teeth so it's advisable to still keep something like ghost cotton in your bag for when those fish are around this is elastic so when a shad bites this a lot of it shoots off and your bait will fall off your hook all right so keep this in mind uh, i still use this for shad because you want to hook a shad in the first second bite you don't want to want it to take a couple of bites out of your bait and i in any case prefer fishing a moving bait for shad all right so you tie your foam on there all done then i'm just gonna cut the head off the anchovy and i'm gonna split it open from the stomach split it nice and open all the way now look at how nice and white this meat is now we've had these fresh washing up fresh at Mazeppa and a couple of areas before and they're not nearly as salty if you if you like anchovies they're not as salty yet the brine they actually put them in that's where the salt comes from okay I'm just gonna trim it nicely to make it nice and neat for 
fitting it around my foam. So what I'm doing with this, I'm building a little body and that's for the flavor as well inside. You can use the anchovy on its own. As I mentioned earlier, uh, milk boss in Cape Town, I, love, I used to love using anchovies for stem brass as well as the cob around there. Uh, when the water's right, when it goes that milky color, color north, northwest wind there, I think, if I remember correctly, it makes the water all milky. And when it's the season for the anchovies, they work very well there. All right, so I've tied a bit of a body. Something I don't fish without anymore. You guys probably see this everywhere is these little mustard scissors. All right, firstly to take your bait off your hook much faster. And for smaller baits, to trim and stuff, even for your foam, to trim your foam, they work really, really nice. Cut that open. All right, now with this, I'm gonna take all of that out. I don't wanna lose it, all the intestines. And then I still remove, even on these small ones, on the Pentagonian squids, I remove the beak. Okay. So, with this now, just above the eyes, you've got that little tough piece there. I stick it, if you guys can see on camera, sorry, a lot of times our hands are in front. Above the eyes. And then that way. Slide nicely onto the front of your bait. And that I tie on like that. Now you can obviously, instead of the anchovy, you can use red eye fillet, you can use a sardine fillet, you can use a bit of prawn or crayfish. That's the whole thing about our north coast, the diversity of species and baits available in the water. Allows you to play around and really find baits that works on the day. So lengthwise, I'm going to cut in any case, I always, even on, on a normal chocker, I like taking off that piece. You can use your chocker hammer. But with these small ones, just hit it with the back of my knife. That mushes it up a little bit, crisscross it. That will help with getting the flavor out, as well as your cotton not to slip and slide when you cotton it up. Now, the little wings, you can take off, you can leave them on. That's really up to you. They come with wings, so that's natural. Thing about putting these skirts around is you use your cotton in the direction I want to fold it so it wraps it for you nicely so it keeps it neat All right. move it into place and this one hasn't gone underneath I like having it exactly that way. Let's do that. Other way around. Okay. Now this can shoot up. So you lock it around your hook. So it doesn't shoot up. Because your skirt, remember this is very slimy. So that can quite easily shoot up on your bait. And then it's not natural anymore. And then you just tie it neatly. You don't have to tie a lot of cotton on this. Just make sure you secure it um, at the top and the bottom because you're going to clip this. You'll use a sinker that can hook onto your hook to get distance. And this is a lovely bait for fishing long distance. And uh, on all your banks, the edges of your banks, close to reefs. Lovely little bait. Okay. There you have it. Pentagonian squid with some anchovy fillet on the inside. The eyes, you can crisscross your eyes so they pop out, they bulge out. Especially when your water is cleaner, you can make this neater. You can crisscross the eyes so that it actually bulges them out. But there you go. Now guys, remember to let us know if you get results on anything we show. Uh, remember to send us the photos to grindelite at asfn.co.za and that will feature in the news flash. Um, and thank you for everybody that's been uh, regularly sending us catches and photos. Obviously, you guys are fortunate to fish a lot and you're getting results. Um, send us, pop us a mail if it's on one of the baits we showed you or something you've learned from ASFN. And remember to be subscribed on the channel and 
tick that little bell so that you get notified every time we upload a new video. Thanks a lot. <laughs>